We want to thank the electorate, the people of Zimbabwe for voting for the alternative led by President African Nelson Shamisa in August and in demonstrating their acknowledgement of captured state institutions on the 9th of December. We emphasize this point uh, to thank the people of Zimbabwe in demonstrating that uh, uh, state institutions are very much captured as this was seen on the 9th of uh, uh, December. And we want to say thank you very much to Zimbabweans across all the constituencies uh, where we are violations. Um, a crystal clear picture has been painted on how captured our Zimbabwean institutions are. Z, the judicial system, ZRP, and other state institutions have been made docile. Uh, to Zanu PF, turning a blind eye on the swearing in of, of an illegitimate, illegitimate government. Representatives from our party have also been illegally recalled from both local and central governments within, uh, with the help of the above mentioned and other uh, state institutions. Now, we are aware of Zanu PF agenda to try and steal the will of the people and undermine the role of the alternative in the country. We have noted fraudsters and criminals being used by the regime as political condoms to collapse the people's movement and aid a one-party state through illegal uh, records. We are also highly concerned about the proposed 24, uh, 2024 national budget which the Minister of Finance proposed. The budget is anti-people and far from solving the economic decay of our country. We therefore reject that budget and urge all our, mem uh, all our members of parliament to ensure that they debate and reject that, uh, that, uh, that proposed budget. Now, as the governing party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, led by Advocate Nelson Chamisa, given the mandate by the people to lead and take the country forward, we want to send a very clear and a straightforward statement that we are the now and we are the future of this country, and we won't allow or let any barbaric organization formed a government in Iran or to try and attack or despise the will of the people, specifically here, uh, Wobulawa, in this particular metropolitan province. Indeed, we are aware of Kukuraundi, but we won't allow the second Kukuraundi to happen in our province in form of recalls, in form of abductions, in form of torture, and everything. As the young people who are ready to defend, advance, and secure the future of generations uh, to come. Um, in conclusion, we want to send a clear message to the regime to reform as a set of agents and let the will of the people be respected and protected. Failure to do so, and I repeat, failure to do so, the streets shall be the outbreaking of our strategy. Thank you very much.